But once he crosses this safety here, you can see that he's already above the other safety, giving you a one-play touchdown against four different defenses. And when this route turns up field that typically the DB loses all of his acceleration trying to flip his hips and is instantly gone. Like it almost looks like the defender behind him kind of bumps into him and knocks him off of coverage. And at this point, I know I already have a receiver that's open down the field by about 10 yards. For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor, MMOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. In today's video, I have another top five glitch routes to give you guys. Uh, last week on Monday, I released a brand new offensive ebook in the Baltimore Ravens, and I usually like to put out a top five glitch plays video when I put out a new playbook, because I'm going to show you guys a lot of really glitchy routes and concepts that I found while I was labbing that entire playbook, but since the Ravens are mostly a run heavy and a trick play offense, I used that as an opportunity to put out uh, the top five uh, best run plays in the playbook, and I, and I think that was a really good idea because the Ravens are a very run heavy offense, but I still wanted to put out a top five glitch routes video because there's a lot of really glitchy plays in this uh, playbook as well. I'm going to be dropping some new ebooks later this week, so if you guys want to see me continue to do this series, I try to do this video at least once a month, make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section and if you guys want more help you can download these or any of the ebooks that i've put out simply by clicking the links in the description or the top pinned comment now the first play i'm going to show you guys is out of the i form wing and the play itself is going to be the pa scissors now on a play like this you only have one wide receiver so you would think that'd be the glitchy route but in reality it's actually a formational glitch that i'm going to show you guys from the tight end as this is a very glitchy man beating concept so on defense i'm going to start off with cover zero now this first play here there's multiple reasons why this play is going to work but i'm going to be focusing on the tight end side the two tight ends are going to be where this happens all i'm going to do is run from a hash mark to the open side of the field so that the defensive backs kind of bunch together in a cluster and as long as i have a tight defensive look like this all i have to do is put the a receiver on a streak and he's going to get open or the b route is going to get open but you can see right here on the first look that i get the tight end just sprints wide open with no coverage like somebody forgot to cover him on defense if we go to the replay this is the defender in coverage number six here and for whatever reason, he starts to play off like it's a run play and drops down. It almost looks like the defender behind him kind of bumps into him and knocks him off of coverage because it works in a way that he basically just looks like he's late to get on his assignment. And at this point, I know I already have a receiver that's open down the field by about 10 yards. So it's a very easy play. But to be honest with you, I probably could have thrown to Mark Andrews also, who's getting wide open. And that's the other part of this play that works out. But that's the whole purpose of this play is to get these cornerbacks to bump into one another and basically gets to a point where one of these receivers is going to be wide open every single time as we got that bump look one more time there and the tight end just runs right down the field uncovered. So putting that A route on a streak one more time, like I said, I could throw that route, but the B receiver here, if I want to throw that route, I have him also, although the A receiver was just wide open uncovered there. But you do have two very good explosive options against man zero. Now the next formation is out of the pistol strong slot, and this is more of a hash marks glitch. Before I go into this play though, I'm going to want to make sure that I put somebody with a decent amount of speed at the fullback spot because that's going to be the position that I work. After that, the play is the PA levels, and this is going to work against a lot of different defenses. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that. I'm going to continue to start off with man zero. Now this first play here, I just wanted to show that you don't necessarily have to run it from a hash mark. And you can see that this route here can do a very good job of getting open against even the best cornerback on the Chiefs team and the fastest in Ladarius Sneed. If we watch the replay here, you can see that when this route turns up field that Typically, the DB loses all of his acceleration trying to flip his hips and is instantly gone. I find this play works better, though, if you run it from a hash mark once again. And that is because the running back has less distance to run to the sideline and will turn up field a lot quicker, giving him even more separation for a very easy catch and run one play touchdown against cover zero. But unlike the last play, this is not the only defense that this play works against, as it also has success against cover one hole. This is another play where you don't really have to make any adjustments, but you're probably going to want to run from a hash mark to the open side of the field. And I think it's also best to probably put one of your receivers on a streak just to pull that safety across, because the RB route is going to have the same success to the outside. As you can see, we have another very capable one play touchdown against cover one hole. Now, my last video that I put out, I did have some people uh, argue that I really only showed man-beating routes. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys a couple of no-adjustment one-play touchdown routes that you can use against zone coverage as well, starting off out of the I-form wing. I'm going to show you guys a cover two play that takes no adjustments called the post shot. 
And this play works best against Tampa too. Now this is just a simple post route, but it works because of the routes that the two tight ends are running do a good enough job of creating space and separation for this X route to just get open right up the middle. This play can also have success against cover two man. This play will have the exact same setup once again, as you don't have to worry about making any adjustments. And those two tight end routes will create separation over the top as neither the safety really converges on this receiver but this play also has a lot of success against cover four so we'll start off with cover four match against cover four match you just want to motion this receiver in and you'll notice that'll get open the exact same way so this is not just a play against cover two as it also can have a lot of success against cover four as you can see this guy when you motion him in just gets right across the cornerback's face for a very easy one play touchdown once again and this play also has success against cover four drop so i'll go ahead and i'll switch over to cover four drop contain against cover four this play requires no setup just like cover two as this X receiver, once he crosses the free safety's face, all you have to do is bullet pass lead away. And you can see he's over top of the strong safety for an easy one play touchdown once again. If we go to the replay, you can see how this receiver here, number one, the cornerback's just entirely out of play. He's going to maintain that outside quarter. But once he crosses this safety here, you can see that he's already above the other safety. So at this point, all I have to do is bullet and pass lead away from the free safety. And he's going to beat the strong safety to the spot for another easy one play touchdown against cover four. So now I've shown you guys three different plays, two of which were in the same formation in the iPhone wing, and those plays were the PA scissors and the post shot. And those two plays alone beat every single defense in the game with the exception of cover three. There is one play in here that's a one play touchdown against cover three with no adjustments. For that, we're going to have to go back to the pistol strong slot where we already showed you plays from the PA levels. The PA boot in this formation is also a one play touchdown against every single defense in the game, but it's a one play touchdown against cover three with no adjustments at all. So let's go and let's pick cover three sky you're going to want to run this from a hash mark to the open side of the field and the only real adjustment i'm going to make is to cancel the play action either by putting that running back on a block or just hitting the right trigger after the play starts but i don't want him pulling me all over the place because i got to make this throw pretty quick and you can see that the cornerback there follows the post route allowing this cornerback route to get open as long as you throw it with the right timing most defenses will match and you can see how this route here will pull this cornerback back to the point where this corner route underneath will get open if i throw it right at around the time that they're parallel with one another you can see right here this receiver is parallel with that cornerback and that's what's going to get me this opening and if i go back to the quarterback to see what the quarterback's doing you can see the ball's already out of my hands so i actually throw that with a lot of anticipation because i know that if i throw it too late that I'm basically going to be, uh, the cornerback's going to flip around and try to guard this spot because this is his area. So I'm going to end the video there, but there really are a lot more glitch routes that I could have put in this video. So if you guys want to see more, you'll have to check it out. Link in the description or the top end comment. Other than that, if you guys want to check out the top five run plays that I put out from this playbook, I'll have that popping up on screen as well as the last glitch routes video that I put out from the San Francisco 49ers. And that's it. Until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.